Welcome back to another episode of Southern Sorcery. Yeah, man, we're going to break into a very exciting box today for the patrons. Ikoria, the Lair of Behemoths. This set came out in uh, 2020, which you all remember as the most social year that we've had in decades, right? Everybody got to go out and have fun and do things. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. No, it wasn't like that at all. We uh, we had to stay inside. We had to wear masks all the time. It was rough. A lot of people got sick. It just wasn't a great year. But uh, to make up for it, Magic released a great product. So hopefully during your pandemic time, you got to crack into some Ikoria, explore some of the Godzilla cards. There was obviously the Ozolith. That's the huge hit and still is today. Um, as well as the original Triomes, the lands that tap for three of different land types. So it could be Plains, Mountain, Swamp, so forth and so on. Really cool stuff. So yeah, let's dive in. Let's get to cracking. Welcome to another episode of The Crackdown. Where we're gonna crack into some packs today. I missed you guys. I've been a while. I've had a kid. Well, maybe girls in the world now. My life has been turned upside down, and it's awesome. I have to say, I'm very happy to be a parent. Shout out to all the parents that have done this before me. The uh, sleep deprivation is very real. <laughs> Cool, so how we're going to do the box topper, uh, each of these boxes come with a specific box topper. I think it's all indicative to the Godzilla stuff. Whoever pulls the least valuable rare or mythic will win this box topper of the patrons today. So we're going to set that aside. We will open it in due time. We're just going to dive right into this. Man, how is everybody? Everybody having a good time? Hunter in for 10 packs. Hunter's not messing around. Hunter, the OG patron. Shout out always my guy for being the first one to uh, sign up for Patreon. First me, first me. <laughs> really appreciate that. Always will shout you out. 10. I grabbed 10 exactsies. Man, it's going to be a good freaking day. Yes, let's go. We won't spend a ton of time on the commons and uncommons. We will spend maybe the first couple packs like I have been here just to save on video time. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. We've got a checkpoint officer, a frostfell ambush, <laughs> a prickly marmoset. Man, that's that's my dude right there. A, a spontaneous flight. That's a fox that's just going to take flight. Come on, fox. Let's kick some tail. An adventurous impulse, whisper squad. Hey, let me whisper to you. A, a sudden spinnerets, a mutual destruction. Day Squad Marshal, a Far Finder. That's a fox. It's a colorless fox, so no uh, no color mana, just three colorless mana. A Regal Lo Lo Leosaur. It's a dinosaur cat. Uh, so essentially, this is like their extended frame. They did like a comic book almost frame with these, and it's probably some of my favorite art. Also, this set has a mechanic called Mutate, which is extremely busted. It almost broke the format there for a little while. Escape Protocol, and a Voracious Great Shark. Look how big that shark is. It's a great white. So that's the rare for the pack, an island, and then just a generic token. Yeah, Mutate, absolutely busted. There were some cards that uh, I think had Mutate, and then some of the other ones... That they got banned so fast just because of the mechanics. <laughs> just just crazy good. Pack number two for Hunter. We've got a Ferocious Tigerilla. I run this in my uh, my monkey deck because it is a cat and an ape. It's both things. So obviously the, the, one of the themes of this set is a lot of different creatures have like combined. They're like two in the same. So yeah, cat ape. Uh, we saw the fox with wings. So it's a flying fox. A lurking dead eye. Pacifism. A blister spit gremlin. That's a gremlin that can shoot a little ball of fire. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Essence scatter. That's our boy Seb McKinnon with the artwork. Uh, nice squad commando a plummet this card's been printed a lot if you don't like creatures with flying always run a plummet a horn bash mentor a flourishing fox an endotha crystal so those this endotha this is like part of the triomes so these crystals are kind of like lesser but they still tap for like the colors that you would see in the triome i hope we pull one here soon uh, an unpredictable cyclone as our rare a tranquil cove and then another generic token actually i think there's a couple tokens in this set that are worth a little bit of money the one that has the flying shark from sharknado <laughs> or Shark Typhoon, I guess, based off of Sharknado, that, that movie. Solid Footing, Frost Links, Tentative Connection, a Durable durable Coil Bug. Never never know when you're going to need a Coil Bug. A Fertilitz, a Rated Scorpion, a Ram Through. Excavation Mole, that is a gigantic mole. That's not the type you'll see in your backyard. A Boot Nipper. Lord, watch your boots, because it's going to nip them. Reconnaissance Mission, one of the better uncommons in the set. A Polywog Symbiote. This is just a big old fat frog. Just chilling. Back for more. Come on with it. A Kahira, the Orphan Guard. So here is another mechanic. This is the one, not Mutate. Companion was the one that really broke the format. So Companion and Mutate both kind of came into this set and both are, are just outright really powerful mechanics but Companion absolutely broke the format for a little while. And then a Windscarred Crag with a Dinosaur token. So yeah, Companion. That was the one. Yeah, not Mutate. Companion. Oof, Lord. I think one of those cards was it Loris, I believe, was one of the cards. I can't remember the name of it, but it got banned in like a day. 
<laughs> Man Serval, Gust of Wind, Cavern Whisperer, Humble Naturalist, a big old turtle, a one blue for a zero five turtle. If you need somebody to block for you, you've, you've got that in that turtle. Shredded Sails, Will of the All Hunter, another crystal, Bastion of Remembrance. This, I think, is the best uncommon in the set, so we'll actually set that aside. And a Slither Wisp. Oh, gonna wisp you away. Human token and a swamp. All right, I think we've seen enough of the commons on commons, so we'll kind of fly through those. If I see anything of importance, obviously I will stop and highlight it. <sighs> see, like this, a thriving otter. I've got to highlight that because my, my guy's, you know, he's taking someone's fanny pack with some money. So it's like, uh, hey, you're you're telling me we spent a year securing this sanctuary against Tosauruses, Ram Beasts, and Night Fangs, and we were robbed by what? A little otter. All that treasure you robbed, and the little otter got you, you know? Go for the blood. Hey, there's a Vulpkeet, Vulpkeet in the alt art frame, a Mosscott Goriak, Boot Nipper again, an Adaptive Shimmerer, Wingspan Mentor, a Skull Prophet, and a Bastion Remembrance again. Set that side and a Cheville, Bane of Monsters. This is the monster hunter in the set. He's kind of the bad, one of the bad guys in the story. But our first mythic of the day, and a dinosaur token with a mountain. Nice. Hunter, let's see some triumphs. That is Ozolith. Whoever hits the Ozolith is going to be very happy. <laughs> They're almost up to like 40 bucks. So, yeah, hope, hope this box contains two of them. That'd be great. That would be fantastic. A Glowstone Recluse, a Dustfang Mentor. Oh, nice! There's a Shark Typhoon. That's what I was talking about. See, remember the movie Shark Sharknado, where the sharks were stuck in a tornado and they were killing people? This is kind of a magic spin-off card of that. So this this creates a flying shark token, and those tokens are worth a little bit of money. So if you got one laying around, check your stuff, because it's worth like a couple bucks. And Shark Typhoon itself is a good financial hit. It's like four or five bucks. Good job, Hunter, on the Shark Typhoon pool. Garrison Cat. That's a good kitty cat. Keep safe. A serrated scorpion, terrifying. Night Squad Commando, a Huntmaster Liger. Oh, the Liger, the Lion Tiger. Well, this is even worse though. It's got like horns and like saber tooth tiger. I mean, if you ran into that, you'd just hopefully eat me fast, right? Necro Panther. This is a cat nightmare with the mutate ability. Ah, one of my favorite ones, the Porky Parrot. It's a bird beast. It's a porcupine and a parrot. Gosh, what a what a fun creature to like play around with. And then your rare is the Sky Cat Sovereign with a Jungle Hollow and a Human Soldier token. All right, I think we're due for a Triumph. Usually these boxes have, you know, two or three Triumphs kind of sitting in them. I've seen maybe like even up to four. So I'm hoping that we're going to see one soon because they're all worth some money. A Frost Lynx. Hey, that's my last name. Nice. We share that in our, our common elemental cat ground is, is your name. Tentative Connection. That's Luca. He's one of the Planeswalkers from this set. R.I.P. He... He got turned in the Phyrexians, and then he got killed. Suffocating Fumes, a Monstrous Step, spoiler alert, sorry about that. A Zagoth Mamba, Crystalline Giant, for the rare, a Plains, and a Human Soldier. Okay, last two packs for Hunter. Come on, we gotta see something crazy. So far, Shark Typhoon has been the best hit. We need something better. Better. Bigger. Faster. Stronger. Weaponize the monsters. Yeah, Luca coming in strong with his monsters. And Archlepagilor. It's a... Archilip what is it? I can't even I'm not nope, we're just gonna skip it. I'm not gonna try Hey nice, a Tranth Magistrate. This is another financially good hit and just a pain to play against. Why do I say it's a pain to play against? Because your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. And you know where your commander lives outside of your hand in the command zone. So if it's uh, not on the field and he's on the field, you can't cast your commander. This is a stacks piece and it is disgusting. And then look at this beautiful artwork on this Lord Dracus. Gosh. That's why I love these frames and this set gets so much popular because the artwork is just chef's kiss it's amazing set that aside so yeah advanced mastery i think it's like close to 10 bucks so nice hit hunter very good almost pays for all your packs i cut everybody a crazy good deal if you're interested in just becoming a patron you should check it out because these deals are nuts i'm telling you fight is one flame spill a cunning night bonder it's a human rogue a frondland frondland feldar cat beast that's your other rare a blossoming sands and another token all right hunter overall i think you did pretty good obviously your two biggest hits were the dranath magistrate and the shark typhoon i'll get these sleeved up for you and i'll check other prices anything over two bucks i will certainly sleeve for you dranath magistrate definitely is your big hit and that's a great card sees a ton of play um, obviously because it's just a really good card. So we'll put those on top and set these aside for Hunter. Thank you again, Hunter, for your kind patronage. It is always appreciated, my friend. Next up, we have Alex in for five. Alex, Alex, Alex. He's due for a massive hit. So I'm hoping we get something crazy. Alex has been, uh, been due for a big hit. I think I don't think I've hit anything massive for him on the channel. Just a couple of, like, decent ones. So let's get something big. Let's get an Ozlith for Alex today. Let's, let's do it. We've got our Rumbling Rock Slide, a Convolute, Mysterious Egg. Oh, the possibilities of the egg. Corpse Churn. Flycatcher, Monstrous Step, that's a big old foot. A Lord Dracus, a Heartless Act, into an Eerie Ultimatum. Nice, this is a good financial hit. Haha, -ha, very good. You spoke it into existence. All the Ultimatums are in this set. Not all of them, I guess. 
but they're good. They all do some really cool stuff like this one. Uh, return any number of permits with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield, so they can be really abusive if you play it right into a deck that runs a lot of different stuff. Evolving Wilds, one of the best lands in the game. Back for more, Polywog Symbiote. Oh man, we spoke it into existence. I said, let's get the Ozlith for Alex, and we did. Yes, sir. Good job, Alex, my man. One fresh Ozlith coming your way. $40 hit. Best card in the set. Bada boom. Good sir. Definitely sleeving that up, and we're going to sleeve the Eerie Ultimatum up. Back to back good hits on this. Man, good job, brother. Man. Woo. Who cares what these last three packs have for you? You've already hit the gold mine. Ha ha ha. And you got a prickly marmoset to, to look at you now. Look at that prickly marmoset with its prickles. Bristling boar, another bristly, everything's kind of pointy in this set. A gloom pangolin, a hornbash mentor, a proud wild bonder. This guy just loves his little wand bat that he has. A rogarin crystal and an extinction event. Ooh, don't want those dinosaurs to go extinct now, do we? That's your rare, and then there's your companion token. Yep, there's that mechanic again. If you're interested in reading up on it, I would highly recommend reading up on the companion mechanic because it was very strange in all formats, not just commander, even when this was like standard legal. This, uh, it was very strange and, and put the format up side on its head. Farfinder, there's that colorless little fox. What did the fox say? Ding, 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 ding. Remember that? that? That song is so... Offspring's Revenge. Dang, Alex, this is the... This is also the cheapest rare in the set, so you might just be... <laughs> you might have just secured the, uh, the box topper as well. Offspring's Revenge is the cheapest market value price in the uh, entire set. This card's valued. I just checked it. Eight cents market value, so if anyone else pulls it, we'll have a tiebreaker, whatever their second cheapest rare was. So Alex, you might just be uh, taken home. You might just have taken and the crown um, from JP from the past, you know, Sam, all these guys that have, have pulled some gas. I think you may have uh, secured your spot amongst the legends of the patrons with this these packs here. Blitz of the Thunder into Yardo, the Wandering Monster, Dinosaur Turtle. This is uh, one of the Godzilla cards, but this is the magic version of the card. If we pull one, I'll show you what I'm talking about in more detail. But yes, Alex, those five packs were absolutely gas, my man. Especially the Ozolith will put these on top because these are the best. Yeah, and like I said, this card is so cheap, but it's like I said, it's going to put you in the running for maybe pulling the cheapest rare of the day. So, Alex, we'll set your stuff over here. We'll move on to the next patron, which is ha -ha, Daniel, the main editor, the main man himself, the guy with the long hair, or formerly long hair. In for six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Daniel said, I didn't get to open up Icoria. This was before my time playing Magic, so I'm very excited to get into this break. So, good luck, my friend. Hope you pull. We have us yet to see a Triome, so I think your chances are pretty high for that. There's Evolving Wilds again. We've, I think we've hit like three of those in a row. Zenith Flare channeled four the crystal and the frond line feldar again the cat beast that looks more like a wolf dog more than a cat i don't know all these animals are kind of strange you know you love them because they're all they're all animals right they're all very cute cuddly very pettable it's not what is it what's the saying if it's not meant to be pet then why is it pet shaped <laughs> something like that Go for blood. Going for blood. Evolving wilds again. Goodness gracious. A sanctuary smasher. That's a rhino beast. I mean, a thing can only do one thing, and that's smash. Yeah. Death's Oasis. That's a pretty decent enchantment, I believe. There might be one of the cheap ones. I can't remember. We'll check after this, but there's a cool pacifism foil. You can enchant the creature, and it can't attack or block, so it's at peace with itself. It's found its inner zen is now at peace. Nice. We'll set these over here. All right. We got a snare tactician of one mind. A Savai Sabertooth, Anticipate, a Cloud Pisser, a Pouncing Shore Shark. What's more terrifying than a Shark Typhoon is a shark that can literally pounce out of the water and run after you. Imagine that, running from a shark. Like, that's terrifying. Sanctuary Smasher again into a Storm Wild Caprador into a... Nice, we got one of the Mythics. This one is a good one. This is the uh, Iluna Apex of Wishes. Uh, this card has the uh, Mutate ability. Uh, this is the Alt Art frame for it, so this is a really good hit. Uh, we'll sleeve that up for you. That's a Mythic and Rugged Highlands and a token. Yeah, beautiful card. The artwork on these, are, like I said, it's just, I'll bring it back here. Uh, it's just something, something to ooh and awe about for sure. Yeah, we always want to say a big shout out and thank you to Daniel. He spends a lot of time and effort on editing our videos. Um, does a lot of videos himself. Does a lot of deck tech videos. So if you haven't checked those out, I would highly recommend it because it does a good thorough job. There's Titan's Nest. That's a decent enchantment as well. So you got Odessa Oasis and Titan's Nest. And then a feather token. Tis but a feather. Anytime I think of feather, I think of uh, Forrest Gump, the movie. How the feather kind of comes and goes in the beginning and the end of the movie. Divine Arrow. 
A frenzied raptor, imposing ventasaur, blitz leech. That's also terrifying. I leech that big. Essentially, you're at the bottom of the food chain. If you're a human and you're on Ikoria, you, you're just at the bottom of the food chain. Anticipate blazing volley into dire tactics. A uh, Rael the Everwise. I don't remember if she has any financial value. She is a mythic. It's not her. It's, there's another legendary creature that's that's got some value to her. But I will obviously, like I said, I'll spot check some of these. And if it is sleevable, I'll certainly make it sleeved and shipped very safely in bubble wrap as well so no worries i've got got you taken care of on your expensive cards there's the prickly marmoset the bristling boar see everything's just pointy that's just you can't even like touch things cloud piercer it's a big dinosaur it's neck so big i guess it's piercing clouds there's our fox friend a spring jaw trap it's just mean to the animals neutralize Ooh, i see a good hit actually i see a really good hit this is a uh, aragorn triumph nice hit dang boom this is great this is the triumphs we've been talking about so you see here it says land and then it has islands mountains plains shows the colors there uh, the Come in the play tapped and you can cycle them for three, which means you can pay three generic mana to discard this card to draw a card. But the important thing is you, they're fetchable, so you can use lands that tap and sack to say, like, go get a specific, you know, land type. These fall into that, and there's three of them, so they're even more fetchable than normal. This is a huge hit, too, because it's uh, an alt art, so all these alt arts are just outrageously, you know, priced, so we'll definitely save that up for you. It's a massive hit, so good job, Daniel. Way to go! Sleeve, that was your last pack, too, wasn't it? Yeah, so hey, way, way to end out. End on a banger, so you got two really cool myths mythics or yeah well, two mythics here then the triome so yeah overall my friend you did absolutely fantastic then next up we have our friend sam in for five packs sam said he wants something great or his legal team will be at my doorstep like always so i have to be on my p's and q's when i'm opening packs for sam to make sure i pull something great or maybe at least lie and buy myself some time to flee the country blade banish keep safe unlikely aid a wilt we're gonna wilt under the pressure or we're we gonna pull something great i think we're gonna pull something great there's more triumphs to be had i feel it cheering harvester into a genesis ultimatum nice not the most expensive ultimatum but a cool one this one says look at the top five cards of your library put any number of permanent cards from among them onto your battlefield and the rest in your hand exile genesis ultimatum it's great because you get to put a bunch of permanents on the battlefield if you're on the right type of decks these ultimatums can be absolutely abusive all ultimatums are good they're all financially decent and they're all very playable uh, startling development. That's a what is this? This is a big old fat lizard that this eagle's just munching on with all of its birds. Yep, you know, sometimes it doesn't pay to be a giant lizard because birds like to eat. So, you know, like I said, it's just rough. Heartless Act, a Lord Dracus into a Mythos of Snapdax. Interesting. The Mythos cards aren't financially huge hits, but they're pretty cool because they have awesome artwork. They're like cave drawings from like Neanderthal days, like where they would draw in the caves. Like, yeah, that's I love the artwork on those. Really cool. All right, Sam, pack number three for you. Sir, ram through adaptive shimmer. There's another color sky. It's a little artifact. That's a disgusting look. No, it's gonna be a beautiful. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Uh, was that Bugs Life? I think. <laughs> That's sort of Halbinder. Oh, we got something good, Sam. Oh, and it's a Dirge Bat. Dirge Bat's not terrible in the alt art. It's, it's, I mean, it's very playable. It's fun, but I thought that was a triumph. All right, pack number four for Mr. Sam. Sam has started to play more standard now. He's turned to the dark side, turned his back on the commander community. I'm just kidding. He's not turned his back on it. He just plays more more competitive stuff. He loves that type of stuff. So nothing here he can use because this is out of rotation. A Hunted Nightmare for the rare. Some good stuff that maybe he can trade for or throw in some commander decks that he's got these made. So let's pull something good for Sam. We got one more pack to go here. Come on, let's let's put the the good the goodness on it. Let's get a triome here. Come on, dark bargain, ram through gloom, a dream tale heron, a big elemental bird, a blazing volley, migration path. There's the crystal. <laughs> Man, we're putting stuff into existence today. And in Doth the triome, let's go and a foil voracious great shark very good two hits in the last pack let's go a little last pack magic for sam man i love it love it love it love it love it love it i love you i love you i'm loving it sleep that and we'll sleep the triome man and off the triome that taps for a plain swamp or forest uh this is the regular art but they're still all worth like i said i mean on the cheap side they might be like seven to ten bucks on those like alt art ones they're like all the way up to 20 bucks especially if you get a foil they're, they're very expensive, so very nice hits. Indeed, I like it. Good job, Sam. I like it when everyone does well. And this this set is just fun to open. There, it, it's There's a lot of good stuff in it. And then for our last 10 packs, I want to welcome in one of our newest patrons, Gavin. Had an opportunity to meet this man, play some magic with him recently. He said, I love what you guys are doing. I want to get into some of these box breaks because I love opening stuff that I haven't got a chance to open in my life before. So count me in, brother. P hook me up with some triumphs. The last 10 packs are going to Gavin. 
Thank you for becoming a new patron. Really appreciate that. Let's open up some gas for Gavin. Let's finish out this box strong. Ten packs, I'm predicting at least one more trial, if not two. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm just going to put it out there. I've been two for two on my predictions so far. I called the, uh, there's Lutri. There's one of the ones, I think, that broke it, the companion. Uh, each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name. I'm pretty sure this was banned in Commander. Yeah, so we'll set that aside. <laughs> yeah. Busted. Just out of the gate. Everything's just busted. It really, like, changes the entire complexity of a deck just based on that one simple mechanic. Gust of Wind, Ferocious Tiger Rilla. But yeah, I called the uh, the Ozla to put that into play and Sam's Triumph. So I'm, pu I'm putting another Triumph into play here. There's a Garuda, Doom of Depths, another Companion, and a Necropanther in a foil. I like it, Bloomfield Caves and a Catbird. Haven't hit any Godzilla in cards yet either, so those also have financial value. So I think they're in here. I just gotta hit them. A Cathartic Reunion. Aw, just hug it out. You know, when in doubt, hug it out. Titanith Rex, a Dinosaur Beast, another, it, everything's just pointy. Reptilian Reflection, a Dire Tactics into, hey, we said it was gonna happen and we called it a Keytra Triome. Caps for a Forest Island Mountain that is a green, blue, red, a beautiful, and then a foil, Zerdra the Dawnwalker, another companion. You are hitting all the companions. What is that, three, I think, Triomes? Let's just hit one more. I'm gonna call it. All right, so since I'm three for three, I'm calling one more Triome. We're doing it. It's happening. Hope you guys are ready for it, because it's happening. All right, we got a Starling development into a Frenzied Raptor. Raptors are scary enough. Hey, there's a, a dead weight. That's a gigantic looking rabbit. A Memory Leak, a Greater Sandworm, Jubilant Skybonder, Migration Path, a Glowstone Recluse into an Emergent Ultimatum. Another Ultimatum. That's a great card too, I think. Additional Backwater and the Punch-Out token. Like I said, those Ultimatums are good. This one is Search your Library for up to three monocolored cards with different names. Exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards. Shuffle that card in your library. You may cast the other cards without paying their mana cost, and then you exile it. So pick your poison essentially is what you're doing. I'm going to get three of my nastiest cards in my deck and you're going to allow me to cast two of them. That's pretty great. Anytime you get to do stuff like that, it's fun because you put the, <laughs> the onus on your opponent to really kind of choose like how you're going to kill them. Primal Empathy. Lead the Stampede. Into, yes sir. Nice. One of the best mythics in the set. A Luminous Brood Moth. This is Mothra in Godzilla. If you're a Godzilla fan, this is the, the, the alt art is a Mothra card. We'll set that aside. A Foil Scorch. Scoured Barons and Island and a Beast. We'll sleeve that up for you, sir. Gavin, I say overall, you are hitting it out of the park as well. This is just great. Everyone is doing fantastic. Everyone has hit a really good card. So we, we always like that. We like for it to be a win, 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 win. <laughs> An Adaptive Shimmerer, Charge of the Forever Beast. That beast is forever old. It looks like it's going to be so old. It's got trees growing on it. Sanctuary Lockdown, Boneyard Lurker, Into the Dirge Bat, Into a Foil Call of the Death Dweller. That looks absolutely terrifying. Wouldn't want to run into that either. Of course, I mean, you don't want to be that swamp anyway, but definitely see that thing come out of the water and you're like, all right, this is it for me. <laughs> a startling development. Dun dun dun. This just in. Eagles eat. And there's that pouncing. Eagles eat giant lizards. Dude, we called it. Another triumph. Gosh, we're on fire. I said there'd be one more. What did I say? There's a Zagoth triumph. Man, this box is loaded. That's why everybody loves Icoria. Icoria is just so freaking good. Love it. Personally, one of my favorite sets ever. Not just like in 2020, but this was like one of my favorite sets ever. I'm a huge Godzilla fan, so when they did like the Godzilla cards with the the Triumphs and all that stuff, I was just like, man, this set just has it. There's a Yardo. Pack number eight for Gavin. Let's see what we get. Can I call it? Let's I'm going to call it. These last two packs, one of these last two packs has a Godzilla card in it. I'm just going to say it out loud. I'll go five for five. Or just, we're just going to call it a day and, and hit the and, and go to bed. A, not three, Apex of Death. This is a Cat Nightmare Beast <laughs> with Mutate. There's another Mutate. No, you got the companion cards early on. But now you're getting Mutate cards. All right, last pack has to have Godzilla card in it. Has to. Even if it's Godzuki, the little tiny Godzilla, like his nephew or whatever it was, that counts. I'm counting it. <laughs> First is Tigerilla. A Convolute, Unexpected Fangs. I may have actually passed it because it's uncommon in one of these reconnaissance mission. One of the better uh, uncommons in the set. An insatiable hemophage into a ruinous ultimatum. Nice. Destroy all non-land permanents your opponent's control. It's a one-sided board wipe. Love it. Into an escape protocol foil and a force. I did not call it correctly, so okay, what we four for five. I'll take those. That's that's a that's a good percentage. It's ruinous ultimatum. I know it's worth a little bit of change. So we'll leave that up for you, Gavin. These will be coming to you, my friend. Thank you again for becoming one of our newest patrons. Overall, everybody did great. If you would like to be included in some of these box breaks, please check out our Patreon. We're getting ready to change some of the, the levels out, so there's gonna be some different things going on, like playing games with us, VIP access to some of the Discord channels, and then obviously these box breaks. I I promise you, you can ask any of the patrons in person. These 
these deals are unbeatable. So if you if you like opening magic and you want to hop in on some of these and have your stuff open on live on channel, it, it's a fun way to do it. So give us a look. And then if you just want to support the channel, get a two dollar tier. Really helps out with like shipping. Please consider you know giving that a chance. And above all else, honestly, if you just want to support us like for free, just like subscribe. Your your valuable time watching these videos goes a long way. So I really appreciate it. We just celebrated our thousand subscribers. So I, again, I'm riding that high. I can't thank you enough. But yeah, I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's making great choices and living their best life. Until next time, my friends, we will see you on the next video. Bye! Guys, I totally forgot to do the box topper. I don't think anyone else pulled the cheap card, the Companion's Revenge or whatever it was. So this is probably going to Alex, but I will double check for sure. And winner will be on the screen. All right. And boom! It's a Godzilla! Nice, this is a good card. Doom Inevitable. This is that uh, Wandering Monster, the Turtle, the Yardo. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this is going to Alex. I will double check. But thanks again. Bye!